Hello, how are you doing? You can see my computer monitor is sitting on top of a large lithium iron phosphate 12 volt 200 amp hour battery. I have two of these. One of them's at my cabin. I've been doing a bunch of testing on. I have this one here for emergency. I took, I have two setups. They were charge controllers and uh, power inverters. One goes to a lead acid battery bank, and they nearly killed me getting them there. They're 150 amp, amp hour golf cart batteries. I don't know if you know how deep you could discharge a lead acid, i.e. a flooded battery, but the two of those, uh, and they're 74 pounds a piece, so 150 plus uh, pounds in total for 300 amp hours, but since they're lead acid, I can only drain them down a little bit, uh, not half, but kind of close to half before they essentially lose their effectiveness. So 300 amp, amp hours of lead acid essentially equates out to eh, 100 and 130 or so amp hours of effective use lead acid. Um, I actually know about, a lot about lithium, and even though this, of course, is a lithium iron phosphate battery, it's not a lithium ion battery, which, by the way, you have no issues of leaving this in my wooden cabin or, you know, in your car or whatever because it's not, uh, you know, prone to, to going boom or anything like that. There are countless videos out there. You can look yourself a puncture that they actually won't go off. Uh, I had a buddy of mine actually cut his apart. They are ultrasonically welded. So they are uh, uh, waterproof up to the point where, of course, you know, the terminals are both flooded, for example, and then, of course, you're going to short the battery out. But they're ultrasonically welded, and I had him take it apart. I'd like to talk about that in just a second. But I was compensated 20% on two batteries. So I still had to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But the important point is, and I have to disclose that, to say I was compensated, but I didn't get the batteries for free. I still had to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I got that after I decided on which batteries to get. Because I looked at all of them out there. And these are actually using car batteries, uh, basically like all of them are, you know, designed for electric uh, EV uh, cars. Uh, the important thing, of course, is uh, the bus on it. Uh, I only pulled up one picture here. Did I have it? Oh, yeah, I got all three pictures here. You can actually see the array of the eight here. And I had my buddy take a bunch more pictures than this. He just sealed it back. He used uh, one of those Dremel tools and zipped around the edge and... Uh, took the lid off, and here you can actually see um, the eight uh, lithium ion, or LiPo, I should say LiPo, but lithium ion uh, phosphate batteries, but extremely good welds. I didn't think you wanted to see like 20 pictures of this. Um, but after all the research, I found out 90% of the batteries out there like this are identical, the difference of course being in the bus and how many deep cycles this will take. They actually advertise all lithiums are the same, even lithium ion and lithium ion uh, phosphate, and they don't like extremely fast discharges, and they don't like to be dropped down to zero. Um, I'd like to actually say something. A lot of the battery advertisers out there say you can drop it down to zero. Well, you can, but that will shorten the life. That is nothing to do with, and of course, there's bus protection. And the bus protection is what differentiates out a lot of these batteries. But I've wanted to find the best lithium ion phosphate battery for the best price. In other words, really good, really cheap. Currently, it's on sale for $589. I have the links below. So was I compensated for 20% on two batteries? Yes, I was. But I still had to pay many hundreds of dollars. But I made the choice with my own money. So that's full disclosure from me on uh, these uh, these uh, Power Queen uh, batteries. I got my uh, little uh, Klein tool over there. I actually sit at rest at 99%, which is 13.4 uh, volts. Um, yeah, 12.8 volt on this. They actually have a 300 amp hour, but these are, I think, are 44 pounds. Um, a lot, basically half as much per as the 150 amp hour of flooded or uh, golf cart battery. So one of these, if you got two uh, 150 amp hour uh, deep discharge lead acid golf cart batteries, not that you could deep discharge a lead acid that much, uh, you have an effect of 200 amp hours more use. Uh, say you're disconnected off of uh, your charge or off of your solar, you have more uh, use off of a single 44 pound 
this, uh, the Power Queen battery, than I do off of 150 pounds of 300 uh, amp hour deep discharge golf cart uh, lead acid batteries. One of two power options like for traveling, I keep mine at the cabin. Um, but one or two very lightweight things uh, for travel. I have one of these. It lets you choose on a little button uh, a lithium ion charging. You don't want to use a lead acid for charging, uh, lead, acid, lead acid charger for charging up your lithium. This, this little lightweight sucker. These are like 40 bucks uh, for uh, charging uh, your uh, lithium. And of course, you can, I have a cigarette lighter adapter. They can actually uh, plug in or USB adapter to plug into, uh, not the USB, but the cigarette lighter adapter to plug in to charge this. Or I have a couple of these. I would recommend 200 watts minimum, unless, of course, because everybody's going to stop every night, and that's why they have one of these, is for emergencies and for night travel to power your fan. By the way, I have one of these. It will go all night long and all day if I unplug the solar. Uh, two of uh, these uh, efficiency uh, mini fridges, my fan and my computer and the speakers to power my music for my computer. It's actually a Mac mini. Um, two uh, high efficiency uh, 60 watt uh, LED bulbs and uh, what else? My computer my two lamps, my fan all night long, and two mini fridges. Just one 200 amp hour. Um, two days only disconnected from power and disconnected uh, for recharge. Like your CPAP machine, I don't have a CPAP machine, but some sort of like uh, uh, your oxygen, uh, you know, emergency medical supply equipment like CPAP or emergency uh, oxygen uh, generator, which has its own lithium pack or you know your fan or just any off-grid situation where you're going to want to use your computer you know something to keep you comfortable um, mini fridge however the portable mini fridges are the ones that are about the size of an ice chest about the size of this battery actually plug that in to keep your drinks cool and your computer just emergency also to run your computer and to charge your cell phone and whatnot um, recommend a mini uh, inverter but what I have and is extremely portable under these uh, lightweight this is a 100 amp hour uh, solar, and this only weighs, I think, about like 12 pounds. Uh, two of these hooked up to actually uh, to uh, my charge controller, my charge controller uh, to this unit. Since I'm only charging up uh, one battery and I only have 200 watts of input, that would be for travel because I keep two of these. I have four of these, but two of them behind the seat of my vehicle. And I can actually, I have a truck, by the way, a Tacoma truck. I can actually lay these on my truck bed and have this either in, because uh, I have a bed liner, I mean a bed, a topper, excuse me, a topper on my Tacoma and have this underneath the topper and charging off the 200 watts of solar. You can actually go down the car, down the drive, down the car, hello, uh, down the road uh, with that if you have the proper uh, uh, hook, uh, hook and loop attachments or actually to tie these down to the top of your truck bed. There's one great advantage, and this is the size of a, one of the 100 watt uh, foldables, and I have two of these. This is more than enough to uh, get your battery charged up. Of course, depending on illumination conditions, you know, whether the sun is out, the angle of the sun, the an there's about a half a dozen different variables, but, that, variables, but that's more than enough to charge uh, this uh, Power Queen 200 amp hour uh, lithium. Um, but I confirm with him, I've seen underneath the hood of a bunch of uh, 200 amp hour, uh, I thought about getting a 300, but I really wanted to keep one here all the time. And the other one is hooked to my uh, Renogy a 60 amp uh, uh, charge controller and my 2000 watt uh, inverter, which is powering, when I'm not there, powering two mini fridges, which are exactly like this. And these are $110. At Costco, this is an Igloo one. They sell these at Sam's Clubs. These are 110 bucks. They're very lightweight and they're actually really, really awesome. My buddy who has a cabin uh, down near me actually has uh, two of these also. And uh, he paid, he bought that before I found out about get, getting the Power Queens here. Uh, he paid $700 and $780, these currently on sale now, and the link is below. I don't get compensated, by the way. There's a discount code below. I do not get compensated if you buy one of these. I, myself, got a 20% discount on my still paid hundreds of dollars, so full disclosure. 
Um, these are currently on sale for $5.89 and you get an additional, if you enter in the code in below, you get an additional, uh, what is it, I can't remember the exact percentage. But I'll have that code below. Sorry, I'm thinking about 10 things at once. But these are actually built really well. And I, like I said, I, before I got the discount, I decided to buy the Power Queen because for 589 bucks, and I got 20% off of that, just one time only. My dad wants uh, two of these, and he's going to buy them, and I get no discount on uh, two more of these for him because my dad has gotten into solar. I'm not a green person at all. You know, I'm all about uh, loving and protecting the environment, a big tree hugger, if you will. I love trees because I have a bunch of land with a bunch of beautiful trees on it. The reason why I got into solar is because it frees me from the man. <laughs> you know, I don't have to have a power bill. I mean, I'm, I'm down at the cabin. I've got the fan on. The mini fridges are cooling uh, the drinks, the mineral water. Uh, San Pellegrino, by the way, in case you wanted to know. It's cooling the mineral water. So I got the fan on me, the speakers blasting out classical music, and the uh, fan keeps me cool. It keeps me illuminated with the lights, and I've got my uh, tunes and, you know, the, the, the two mini fridges. These are really efficient. I actually love these things. People, as a, people think of these as like the cheap fridges you, you see in a hotel, and they kind of are. But they're quite awesome. But this uh, 200 amp hour uh, Power Queen battery down there, it's hooked to my 60 amp hour Renogy uh, charge controller or my 2000 watt inverter, is running everything there. And right now, like I said, it's the only thing that's running while I'm not there is the mini fridges to keep the drinks cool for when I get down there. Cheap thrills. Yeah, but you know, my rich buddy paid hundreds of dollars more and he, he didn't even get a nearly as good a battery as this. And uh, he regrets that, but, you know, he's already been using it at his cabin. I just talked to him. He's heading down to the cabin now. I'd like to head down to the cabin tomorrow. It's kind of hard for me to get away, but I kept this one here at the house uh, for use as an emergency because the power here has gone out more in the past two-plus years than it has in the past 20-plus years. And I've told people that in live streams. It's just absolutely ridiculous. They will claim on this, I'm not trying to contradict the, the Power Queen company and their battery, 100% depth of discharge on that, and that is true. But if you keep doing that, it's okay to do it once, you know, here and there. But you don't do that to lithium. You don't uh, drain them really low, and you don't drain them super low, super fast. Because I actually had to be an expert when I answered tech support questions for uh, for Apple, and that's a different type of, that was a, a lithium polymer battery. But the, the matter of it's lithium polymer, uh, lithium ion, lithium iron, uh, iron phosphate. Lithium is lithium. They have completely different, uh, not totally different, but they have uh, different uh, attributes. But still, fundamentally, lithium does not uh, like that. But you can take them way lower than lead acid. So this sucker is equal to roughly 2.2 i.e. 150 plus pounds of uh, lead acid, 150 amp hour golf cart batteries, two of them, over two of them, by the nature of how you could discharge. Also, too, those, those, those two suckers, once you put them somewhere, you don't move them. I have no issue sticking this in the truck, and if, like, say I'm going to go down there for a week to the cabin, I wish they could go there for a week. I would actually bring another one. That way I could 24 hours a day rock everything, everything I need to do. I could already basically do everything if I'm there for two days or less. Um, but if I'm going to be there for a longer period than that, uh, since they're only charging in the daylight, obviously so, because that's the, usually the time when the sun's out, I'd actually want to bring this one as a secondary backup. Um, but I keep this one at the house for emergencies because i got to get on the computer, i got to charge my phone, and I have to do work. Also, too, uh, with my inverter, and I've done it before. Last time I used this, oh, yeah, I wanted to mention that. It was three weeks ago. I had some leather work orders I had to do. These sewing machines, you can only see one sewing machine here, but there's three others over here. I had to get some leather work out, and the power was out. I mean, it was humid as hell in here. I, I plugged my fan in, and I plugged my sewing machine, actually, the Cobra 26 over here in, and I got my leather work done. I had the lights going, I had the TV going, I had the fan pointed on me because, you know, the air conditioner's not working because the power's out. So this was a lifesaver for letting me get my work done, keeping me cool, oh yes, and running the mini fridge and running the TV. It's just, 
that one time alone, I mean, it saved my butt. And, you know, it's going to continue. I have over, what is it, the, the cycle life on these? Over 4,000 cycle lives. They advertise 4,000. I might be dead long before I actually ever use up the cycle life on um, this. Um, yeah, 4,000 plus uh, cycles. That's assuming you don't drop it down to zero every time you use it. You can do that now and then on a lithium, but you shouldn't be doing that regularly. And that goes from lithium ion, lithium ion polymer, uh, lithium iron phosphate. And I have no issues of any burn issues because there's no puncture issues and there's none of the issues that people normally associate it uh, with on lithium and keeping that in my, my cabin. But it's extremely well built and extremely inexpensive and uh, I'm extremely happy with it. I've done plenty of testing by keeping it at my cabin. And I know things are running there now because I have my buddy check. Even though I haven't been down there in a couple of weeks, I have my buddy check my cabin out and go in there. He has a key to it and check my battery and make sure everything is doing everything is supposed to be doing. So he's checked it twice. He goes down there all the time. He's actually down there now. So there we go. You can check out the links below. I get no compensation if you buy one of these batteries. I'm telling you, I did my research and I wanted the best for the lowest price. And this is it because I'm not interested in giving out false information because someone's, you know, pulling my strings like a puppet behind the scenes on any product. I, I hate that and no one's doing that here. I did my research before buying this, but I did get compensated uh, by 20%. Um, but I'm not compensated going forward, and my dad's batteries will not be compensated either. So He doesn't want those giant lead-acid batteries either. I have them because I can't return them, and they're down there as a secondary backup. Um, but, they're, yeah, they're just hideous. They also, too, they off-gas uh, flammable uh, acidic gas. I guess you knew that also, too, about lithium. I mean, excuse me, lead-acid or flooded batteries. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get one, it's in the link below. I can actually attest to it, and uh, no one's pulling my strings on making that statement about uh, these being uh, the best lithium uh, uh, iron phosphate batteries for off-grid, emergency, uh, for travel, because uh, I've got it in my cabin. Very, very happy with it, and I'm certainly glad at the price. Even without the 20% discount that I got after the fact, I'm still extremely glad I, I bought them and did my research on them. So thanks so much for watching and have a good one.